Uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> How do you do? Oh, Lord. <laughs> We're about to unfold the story of the Bride of Frankenstein. She's alive! Alive! A monster created from cadavers out of rifled graves. A tale that sent my blood into icy creeps. <laughs> Would you like to hear what happened after that? Wilson, we've warned you. You have been warned. Welcome back to Frankenstein Minute, the podcast that dissects the universal Frankenstein film series minute by minute. I'm Tom Lang. And I'm Bill Evenson. We're going to talk about minute 28 of Universal's Bride of Frankenstein from 1935. And uh, I've said this before, but, you know, we watch the minute right before we uh, record. We always yes. do that. And I turned it on, and, then we, and I was like, shit! Yes. The monster's <laughs> huge, ah! huge, waving and huge screaming. Huge close-up of Carl. Jesus Christ! <laughs> no wonder she's screaming. This minute scared the shit out of me! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So that was that one was of a, my notes. A, a, was it okay? <laughs> it's a great close-up. Yeah, her screaming enrages him because he was prior to that he was trying. Yeah, that's to, a good point. He was trying to placate her and trying to you know he's patting her hand trying to get her to come to. Okay. I and still And she see starts it. screaming at him, and at first he's confused briefly, and then yeah, by the beginning of this minute he's fully enraged and he's like waving his hand and covering her mouth and trying to get her to shut up. But I still I still see it as childlike rage. Oh yeah, not yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's not it's not murderous rage. It's, it's not murderous more like rage. Uh, I don't know how to handle this. this I don't. Not, yeah. He's a child. I don't know how to handle this. And so he starts essentially having like a tantrum. Yeah, about it. yeah. And his hand, his hand is moving so fast. It's like a it's blur. It's a blur. On yeah. The, on, the, on the film. On the film. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, that close up is pretty intense. It is. Because he's, he's a he's, monster. He's you know his face is all contorted and he's great. And, and he's Car- Carlos had that. And he's got he's really sh- he's got a really shiny uh, clamps clamp on the top of yeah. his head. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yep. He looks like shit. Um, <laughs> and and we then get again, a series of I wrote mismatched shots. The series of mismatched shots. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So we got all that we yeah. talked about it last you week really don't need if to... you missed last week you go back a minute li- listen yeah, to last week what the fuck are you, you listen to this one if you didn't yeah for christ's the sake they're not who that would behave to... like that <laughs> who wouldn't do such a thing <laughs> the... okay so then the, i noticed that the monster looks sort of caught in the act when he turns back to the hunters well, yeah, he we looks to... like he has a really he really looks pathetic he's really he, he's great the way he does it you know <laughs> like, like a little kid oh, caught no, doing wait, no yeah, yeah this well, isn't well, what it looks like this isn't what it looks like yeah, yeah exactly yeah. exactly so I thought that was pretty cool yeah we get some, a couple of contemporary 1930s looking hunters come in and, and do you have do you know who they are um yes and no all right this is um, what we're going to talk about because here's the thing I want to say about this minute before we get to say because I don't know what we're going to say okay. I don't I haven't I have no, not we, seen we your do notes. not rehearse I clearly disagree with Scott McQueen's audio commentary and I think it's correct on IMDB of all places. So let's I'm not, go. I'm not 100% sure. Okay, let's do it. Because I dug deep too. I, I, okay. I looked in every book I have. I googled it a number of different places. I tried a number of different things too. So let's, let's do this in a very specific order. There's two guys. everywhere I looked. I agreed. There's two guys. Let's do them in this okay. order. This will be more fun, I think. A lot of people think one of these guys' name is Jack Curtis. Well, that's what I had with a question mark. And I don't know that guy. I don't, I don't think know who the is. hell that is either. That one could be. I don't know. I don't know. think They're, so. It's a common enough name that maybe it's a different Jack Curtis. Well, that's that's like, possible. Like, I just don't have enough information to yeah, go on the, there. The, the taller one, the, the, who seems to be the leader, no question it's Robert Adair. Absolutely. Scott yeah. McQueen disagreed with you on the commentary. Did he? He attributes uh, Robert Adair to a different character, and I will have more to say about this topic on November 6th <laughs> when we talk about Minute 44. He In Minute 44, he calls somebody Robert Robert Adair that is not, not Robert, Robert Adair. Adair and no, there's this... something interesting about that okay. scene to me later that I don't want to spoil okay, now all right. uh, but yes I'm with you this is Robert Adair I, I looked up every image I could find about yeah. Robert Adair and I looked is, up his credits it's Robert Adair it's Robert Adair he was born January 3rd, 1900 in oh, San Francisco. Oh, you got me. <laughs> God damn His it. His first movie was James Whale's Journey's End. Yes. He was also in The Invisible Man, The Kiss Before the Mirror, and The Road Back. Yes. So once again, so, James Whale... Did I, did I just, set, just, sort of just, just walk just all, all over, over me? I got nothing. <laughs> Fine. 
<laughs> but I think it's interesting that once again, Whale has has uh, like stock players that he he goes back to again and again. And good for him. It works no, great. This great. guy's great. He's got a great voice. Oh, he's very commanding. He's very you know. He he's tells great. the one guy, and the guy just scoops yeah. Jack Curtis Get the or hell. whoever the hell he is. We'll call him Jack Curtis. I'll tell you what. Uh, I'm so unsure about the Jack Curtis part of this. I don't think it is because Jack Curtis is considerably older. There's a Jack Curtis that yeah, considerably older. This guy looks. I think twenty two. I think Jack 18. Curtis is going to show up in about ten minutes. Amazing. That'll be even better then. All right. I think that's Jack Curtis. Okay. Come Not on. a minute. No, okay. Five ten minutes. Five ten minutes. All right. Five. Come back five ten weeks from now. Yeah. <laughs> we'll talk about Jack. Let's Curtis. talk about Jack Curtis. But um. Well, before because we there's go, a Jack Curtis that's that we can that we recognize. Yeah, and he doesn't look anything, doesn't look like, anything this. like Like you guy. said, he doesn't yeah. look anything like him, and as you say, considerably old. Much too because he had a silent film. Yeah, part. he had a, yeah, yeah. did a lot of Tom Mix westerns and things like that. Mm -hmm. Definitely not this guy. So this could be a Jack Curtis. It could be. I'd, I'd really like to know who this guy is. He I actually do. has I, a couple of lines. He does, and I looked and looked and looked, and I could not find. Everybody either says it's Jack Curtis or um, something Terry, who is the guy. Well, we'll talk about that. In, the guy in, with on November sixth. Yeah. In minute forty-four. Okay. <laughs> is it that far ahead? Yeah. Okay. Uh, some other credits for Robert Adair, Doctor Jekyll and Mister Hyde with uh, Frederick March. That's right. Because before the mirror, Invisible Man, as you mentioned, Treasure Island, and here comes our old friend, Great Expectations again. Interesting. I really should probably watch this because everybody was in it. <laughs> it's the entire cast of Bride of yes. Frankenstein. Top Hat, one of the better uh, Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers films. Mutiny on the Bounty with uh, Charles Lawton and uh, Clark Gable. Sylvia Scarlet, libeled lady, Jamaica Inn for Alfred Hitchcock. Yeah. I was a male war bride for Howard Hawks, and Stage Fright also for Alfred Hitchcock. He got around. He, he had a hell of a lot of great movies. 84 credits. In a short period of time and, you know, didn't well, he really died, have a great movie career. Died, died in 54. August 10th, 1954, uh, at age 54. Well, he lived a long, long life. <laughs> hard. <laughs> long, hard life. Hard life, I guess. Yeah, the monster hears him approach and, yeah, like you said, at first he looks... Like he, you know, the kid who got caught in the cookie jar, and uh, there, there, but then, then he kind of like no, 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 no. He kind of pleads with them. Yeah, yeah. And then, and then, the, and then the guy who we don't think is Jack Curtis says, "There she is." Very clear. Yeah. And in well, the they, script, I believe he says, "There he, he is. is." But but I like "There she is" because better they, they because heard the all, all they did was they heard a scream. Yeah. Then seconds later, he says, "There he is." The monster. Yeah. Shoot yeah. him, and he shoots him. And he shoots him. <laughs> <laughs> Spoilers. <laughs> we haven't got that yeah, part. Yeah. He shoots him. He shoots him. So the monster has already been uh, nursing his burned left arm. Yeah, and now he gets shot in now the Now he gets shot in the same arm. Same arm. And also looks really kind of weird because he's he's done doesn't seem like the right angle that it would hit his his right arm. But in real life, that's how that's how go, shots kind of some look, yeah yeah because yeah, um, then he kind of lurches over and grabs it. Yeah, he's gonna um, he's gonna hold on to it for a while. Yeah. He's not happy. Well, and then he he stands up. And he he's still holding his arm, he's, and he's, he's kind of like, doing like, a no, 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 no. I, I should quit gesturing. I should try and describe it. Yeah, as he's trying to hold his hand up, say no, and, and holding and onto it, it looks like a profane gesture, it like does, yeah, yeah, fuck, fuck you. you, yeah. So what that, that was kind of I, was, I was helping her. Yeah, I was <laughs> I was helping her. She was gonna drown, asshole. <laughs> <What>? Fuck you. <laughs> In the script, he gets shot in the leg. Yes. So then he's a limping, limping monster. Yeah, no, I think it, I think it works. This is a good change. works better in the arm because then he can, the scene can continue the way yeah. it does. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't really make any sense uh, yeah. uh, to have him limping no. at this point. Yeah, I guess that's all I have for that part. Yeah, well, the the, the not Jack Curtis guy is told by the definitely uh, Robert, Robert Adair. Adair to run to tell the Burgermeister they found the monster. And he runs to tell the Burgermeister they found the monster. Mm -hmm. and, and so we follow him. We follow him <laughs> to the uh, Little Europe Court of Miracles set that we saw heavily in Frankenstein. It, it's still there yep. to this day. You um, said the the good place. The good, the well, the, that's now. done now, so I don't know if oh, they've painted, painted it back to what it should be or they've left it these sort of pastel colors. Who knows I anymore. Don't know. uh, I still haven't gotten there. So you, when you say, did you say that, I believe you said the way it should be. So the way it should, it should be, be is, is black and white. In black and white, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but yeah. Y yeah. Even if there's plants and shrubberies <laughs> or whatever, should they should be gray. They should be shades of gray. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be fantastic. That would be that. awesome. And he's, he runs through the town, followed by a group of men all talking indistinctly, as it says in the uh, subtitles. What oh, does it say yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> talking, <laughs> talking indistinctly. indistinctly. Thank you, subtitles. Yep, he runs up. I prefer that, though. 
I uh, I've been watching The Godfather. Oh yeah. And I love that movie. And I watch yeah. them uh, all. I'll even watch the third one. Yeah, I will. I, 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 There's parts I, don't I like hate, in it. I don't hate the third one as I much as most people. I okay. Well, I don't, I don't love like it. it. It's such a fucking. It, it's a mess. It's I'm such a gonna... fucking step down from the oh, second one. Ap- yeah, but Recently anything, anything would is be. be a step down from God, Godfather Part Two. Yeah. That's a good point. That's a really good point. Um, but what is one of the things that's disappointing is um, is the subtitles. I like to have the subtitles. Oh, I haven't on. watched it with subtitles. And why not get the lines exactly right? Yeah, but they don't. They just well, well you, they, kind they of get paraphrase. the gist of it. Yeah, yeah, don't paraphrase the Godfather at me. All right. Yeah, my God TV. Damn it. My TV, I have it set so that if I mute it, it'll the, the subtitles will come. come on. Yeah. Nice. And yeah, a lot of times it's it's yeah. paraphrased or. Like I said, I'll watch the YouTube videos of this podcast, and uh, <laughs> sometimes the uh, the mistakes are pretty hilarious. Yeah, that's true. So the Burgermeister. Well, said, yeah, he runs and knocks on the door. Yeah. And the Burgermeister, you know, boy, what do you want? Yep. He still is officious, pompous self. Yep. And it's uh, it's and C- Jack Curtis, C- or C- not Jack Curtis. C.C. C- Clive and Jack Curtis. C.C. C- C- Clive and Jack Curtis <laughs> share a scene together. A scene. Yep. <laughs> who knows who these fuckers are? And at this point, yeah. And then Jack Curtis says something like, "It's a monster." Monster right? up then, in the wo- hills. So or the, the woods. burgomaster turns to I think the gendarme. Yeah, an the major officer, domo or whatever. Whatever you want he to is. Call him, yeah. And he says, "Get out the bloodhounds. Raise all the men you can. Lock the women indoors and wait for me." <laughs> like these lines. <laughs> <laughs> just seem so randomly put together. Well, I just it's, I love it's it. Though. It's very close to what Lionel Belmore says in Frankenstein. But oh, yep. Send the women in and women and children in and get everybody and yep. Get your pitchforks and torches and clubs and let's go. Well, I guess I'll just say it now because I was going to say it in this minute anyway. Uh, later, this mob is full of women. Full yeah, there's, of women. Yeah, there's tons, yeah, there's of, women. tons of women. So yeah, so, yeah. so he's yeah. It does. He's completely, he's completely a bumbling, ineffective yeah, yeah, I think moron. He's, but yeah, lock the women indoors and wait for me. It could yeah. be interpreted as something a little. Well, yeah, mm. good, yeah. But uh, and then when it he says so, wait for me, all he does is just go he inside. Goes in and and he's gets got a piece co- of paper in his hand. He sets it down and he grabs well, his. He grabs his overcoat and his cane. Yeah. Yeah. Just wait for me, and yeah. two seconds. Two later, seconds later, there he is. Like, did um, you do all the things I asked in that two seconds? While <laughs> exactly. I was well, kinda. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Did you? How'd you do? <laughs> how'd it go? Um, Monster indeed. Yeah. So leading the pack of villagers at the top of the steps. I guess you could say Jack Curtis is leading, but then Next. somebody comes up front. This is John George. Yes, you know it very about? much is. But go ahead. He's a little person. Yeah. Who the only thing I know about him, I didn't look him up or whatever was that he was in 1927's The Unknown starring Lon Chaney. Yeah, uh, that's probably about the biggest. Yeah, I gotta yeah. think. Yeah. Yeah. But it's interesting to see him there. He's just... He's right in there he's with... He's just right there. And yeah. And he gets a little pissed when somebody gives him a shove. That's about <laughs> yeah, the yeah that's does. about all he does. Yep. Then you don't see him again after this sequence. Well, actually, we'll see him next minute. A it's, little bit. Yeah. A little bit. Well, but, I'll talk about it. Okay. Ne- spoilers, or this will be the hype for next week. <laughs> Come back next week. <laughs> when I'll have one sentence to say about John George. John George. Great um, name, John George, which it wasn't his name. I, I didn't I, get that far. His okay. name was like Jihit Garbo. I mean, I have no idea what it was. Um, <laughs> well, that we could play backwards and find out. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Uh, so then the only other thing I have left is I do love, of course, Monster Monster Indeed. indeed. But I like this one, Monster Indeed. I'll show him. Yeah, yeah. Which is even in the script. Yeah. Like, there's, I can just... I just I love it on its own. It's just he's a dope. He's goofy. Oh, it's so and absurd. Yeah, it's so absurd. But also, it's almost like monster indeed. Well, I'll show him. I'll be a monster or something. You can kind of interpret it that Maybe. way. But I don't. I think I, it's I, just I think silly. it's just him being pompous, pompous and vicious. And, and yeah, there's a perfect word I think we use. Uh, pompous is good enough though. Just yeah. supercilious. Vicious. Maybe maybe vicious is the word I'm thinking of. Yeah. Supercilious. I don't know. Uh, super. He is super silly. I'll give him super that. Super silly. <laughs> Monster uh, and then, indeed. And then they they uh, they start and the the march music comes up again. Yeah, that's dun, true. Dun, 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 yep, and that's going to lead us into the into, into the next, to the next minute. minute. Yeah, it's a it's a whole different. We've gone through a, a, a range of music. I want to say styles, whatever. Over the last couple of weeks. Well, they what do they call it? Light motive, leap motive. Yeah, and in this case, this is going to take us in. I don't think it's a light motif in this. Maybe it is, and I'm not aware of it. But it's just like a yeah, like it's you a say, march. a march. And they're we're going to march off into yeah. the woods, and we're going to kill this fucker. This time you for could, sure. You could, you could put the uh, 
<laughs> the Empire March from the Empire. Yeah, I suppose. Do this Actually, and it that's work. true. It's really similar to that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Good point. Yep. 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 All right. And that's all I got. Yep. Uh, if you go to Patreon this week, uh, we're still running the same offer we've been running for, <laughs> for years. <laughs> it's two dollars a month. <laughs> that's still going. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like my pillow. We have the same <laughs> promo. <laughs> Buy one, years. get one free yeah, deal. Yeah. Was, so same deal that we've had. Uh, we're still offering the same uh, friend tier for $2 a month. You get every episode a day early on Frankenstein Thursday and uh, access to exclusive bonus content. And you, you'll be glad you did. We should have another tier where like, you get a shirt or something. And I know. We should go tiers. We, we, we might be ready for tiers. Getting ready for tiers? Get a shirt. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, well, there's, there's what, six five six different styles available so yeah you can go to redbubble and find those what is the uh, uh i believe franken- it's frankenminute.redbubble.com and there's yeah lots of shirts to choose from created by our, our own uh, graphics staff <laughs> me <laughs> <laughs> so. yep. uh if you're looking for something from me yeah, there's not a lot of not going on there <laughs> Goodbye now. that's all folks